The 2012 World Series was the championship series of Major League Baseball's MLB 2012 season. The 108th edition of the World Series, the series was a best of seven playoff between the National League NI champion San Francisco Giants and the American League AL champion Detroit Tigers. The Giants won in a four game sweep. This marked the Giants' seventh World Series title in franchise history, their second in San Francisco, they won five in New York, and their second in a three year period. 2010 their World Series sweep was the first by an NI team since the Cincinnati Reds swept the Oakland Athletics in the 1990 series and the first NI sweep not by the Reds since 1963, when the Los Angeles Dodgers swept the New York Yankees. This was also the first World Series since 1988 to feature both of that year's league MVPs. The Giants' Pablo Sandoval, who in Game 1 tied a record by hitting three home runs in one World Series game, two off Tigers ace pitcher Justin Verlander, was named the World Series Most Valuable Player MVP. The San Francisco Giants held home field advantage for the World Series due to the NI winning the 2012 MLB All-Star Game. San Francisco hosted games 1 and 2 and would have hosted games 6 and 7 if these had been necessary to decide the series. The 2012 series began on Wednesday, October 24, at AT&T Park in San Francisco, California and ended on Sunday, October 28, at Comerica Park in Detroit, Michigan, with the conclusion of the fourth game. The Tigers advanced to the World Series after sweeping the Yankees in the AL Championship Series. The Giants advanced to the World Series after winning the National League Championship Series four games to three over the St. Louis Cardinals, the 2011 World Series winners. <laughs> <laughs> Background <laughs> 2012 All-Star Game In accordance with the standard since 2003, the outcome of the All-Star Game decided whether the American or National League would hold home field advantage in the World Series. The National League All-Star team won the 2012 All-Star Game, played on July 10 in Kansas City, Missouri, by a score of 8–0. Representatives of both the Giants and the Tigers played key roles in the outcome. Giant players scored and or drove in seven of the NI All-Star team's eight runs. The NI scored five runs in the first, all yielded by a Tiger, ace Justin Verlander. Pablo Sandoval would hit a triple, and Melky Cabrera—who would wind up the All-Star game MVP—hit a home run during the game. San Francisco Giants. The Giants finished the regular season atop the National League West with 94 wins and 68 losses, eight games ahead of the second-place Los Angeles Dodgers. They defeated the Cincinnati Reds in the National League Division Series, a best-of-five series, in five games. They then defeated the defending 2011 World Series champions, the St. Louis Cardinals, in a seven-game series to capture the National League pennant. The manner in which the Giants defeated the Reds and then the Cardinals created some historical firsts. Because of the addition of a wildcard game, the National League Division Series between the Giants and Reds began with two games in San Francisco. Cincinnati, who posted a better one-loss record than the Giants, hosted the final three games. The Giants lost the first two games at home in San Francisco, yet won the last three on the road. The Giants became the first major league team to win three straight road games in a best-of-five playoff series after losing the first two games at home. In the second round of the playoffs, the National League Championship Series, they came back from a three games to one deficit to defeat the St. Louis Cardinals. Through this playoff course, the 2012 Giants became the first National League team and the second team in American Major League Baseball history after the 1985 Kansas City Royals to win six consecutive playoff games in which they had faced elimination. This was the Giants' 22nd NI pennant overall, their fifth as the San Francisco Giants. 
Their World Series berth was their second in three years since 2010, when they defeated the Texas Rangers in five games. San Francisco's notable preseason acquisitions were outfielders Melky Cabrera and Angel Pagan. Cabrera set the Giants' franchise record for hits in the month of May, with 51, and Pagan set the San Francisco Giants' record for triples in a season, with 15. On August 15, Major League Baseball meted a 50-game suspension upon Cabrera for his use of a banned substance. At the time, his 159 hits led both leagues, his .346 batting average measured second in the NI, and he had received the 2012 All-Star Game MVP. The suspension expired after the NLDS, but the Giants opted not to add him to the team's NLCS or World Series rosters. All star Buster Posey finished the regular season with a .336 batting average to win the 2012 NI Batting Championship. In the World Series, he would go on to catch every inning, including the shutouts in Game 2 and Game 3. He would homer in Game 4. He would, in the World Series, not allow any base runners to advance by either passed ball, stolen base, or wild pitch. He would begin a double play in Game 1 and execute an important tag play in Game 2. Earlier in the regular season, starting pitcher Matt Cain threw the first perfect game in Giants history, and the 22nd in American Major League history, on June 13. He would start Game 4 of the World Series, which the Giants would win to clinch. Relief pitcher Sergio Romo contributed to team success by converting 14 out of 15 save opportunities after an injury sidelined closer Brian Wilson a few days after the season began. Romo converted three saves in the World Series, including the Game 4 clincher, which ended with Romo striking out the 2012 American League MVP. Midseason addition Marco Scataro ended the regular season with a .306 batting average and a 20 game hitting streak. In October, Scataro tied a league championship series record with 14 hits and a .500 average against the Cardinals, and he received the NLCS MVP. In the World Series, his Game 4 10th inning single drove home a run that gave the Giants a lead the team would not relinquish. Bruce Bocchi made his third World Series appearance as a manager, his second with the Giants. Bocchi led San Francisco to the 2010 title. Before that, he led the 1998 San Diego Padres to the World Series, where the New York Yankees swept. Bocchi would win his second World Series title. Bocchi's starting rotation for the 2012 World Series, Barry Zito in Game 1, Madison Bumgarner in Game 2, Ryan Vogelsong in Game 3 and Matt Cain in Game 4. <laughs> Detroit Tigers The Tigers finished the regular season atop the American League Central, with 88 wins and 74 losses. The Tigers repeated as champions of this division, having also won it in 2011. This was their first repeat title in the divisional play era i.e., since 1969. The last time, before 2011–2012, that the Tigers franchise had made consecutive playoff appearances was 1934–1935. The Tigers defeated the Oakland Athletics in the American League Division Series three games to two. The Tigers then captured their 11th American League pennant, sweeping the New York Yankees four games to none in the American League Championship Series. This World Series berth was their first since 2006, when the St. Louis Cardinals defeated them four games to one. The 2012 Tigers became the fourth team to accomplish a four-game sweep in an ALCS. The three other teams to do so 1988 Oakland A's, 1990 Oakland A's, and 2006 Detroit Tigers did not win the World Series, and the 2012 Tigers would, in the 2012 World Series, continue this trend. Pitcher Justin Verlander led the American League in strikeouts with 239. Max Scherzer finished second in the AL with 231 strikeouts. 
During the 2012 season, pitcher Doug Fister set an AL record by striking out nine consecutive batters. Miguel Cabrera became the first player in 45 years since Karl Jastrzemski in 1967 to win the Triple Crown. Miguel Cabrera compiled a .330 average, hit 44 home runs, and had 139 RBIs, all of which led the American League. In the 2012 ALCS, Cabrera extended his hitting streak in LCS games to 17, a major league LCS record. Cabrera made 10 hits in 7 games with the Florida Marlins in the 2003 NLCS, 8 hits in 6 games with the Tigers in the 2011 ALCS, and 5 hits in the Tigers' 2012 ALCS sweep. As of 2012, Miguel Cabrera has played in exactly 17 LCS games. Miguel Cabrera would compile a .231 batting average for, and make the last out of, the 2012 World Series. In January 2012, prior to the start of the season, the Tigers signed first baseman Prince Fielder to a nine year, $214 million contract. In the 2012 World Series, Prince Fielder would manage only one hit, a single, in 14 at bats. Manager Jim Leyland made his third trip to the World Series, and his second with the Tigers he also managed them in 2006. He managed the 1997 Florida Marlins to a seven-game victory in the World Series. Leyland's starting rotation for the 2012 World Series, Verlander in Game 1, Doug Fister in Game 2, Anibal Sanchez in Game 3, and Scherzer in Game 4. In Game 1 of the World Series, Verlander would not fare much better against giant bats than he had in the All-Star Game, allowing five earned runs in four innings. <laughs> Summary NI San Francisco Giants vs. Al Detroit Tigers zero. The Giants' Pablo Sandoval was named the MVP of the series after hitting .500 with three home runs. Umpiring crew Jerry Davis, as senior umpire, served as crew chief for the six-man crew. With his work in this series, Davis set a new record for postseason games umpired in American Major League history, with 115. Fellow regular season crew chiefs Brian Gorman and Joe West assisted Davis, along with Field and Culbreth, Dan Yasonya and Brian Onora. Matchups <laughs> 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 Topic Game One. The Giants jumped out to a 6-0 lead, scoring in four of the first five innings of Game One, en route to an 8-3 victory. Pablo Sandoval went four for four, driving in four runs on three home runs. He joined Babe Ruth in 1926 and 1928, Reggie Jackson in 1977, and Albert Pujols in 2011 as the only players to ever hit three home runs in one World Series game. Sandoval became the first to hit three homers in Game One of a World Series and homer in his first three plate appearances. Tigers ace pitcher Justin Verlander lasted only four innings, giving up five giant runs. Sandoval's first two homers came off Verlander, a two-out home run in the first and two-run home run in the third after Angel Pagan doubled with two outs and scored on Marco Scutera's single. Sandoval's third home run came in the fifth off Al Alberquirk. San Francisco starting pitcher Barry Zito allowed only one run in five and two-thirds innings, and drove in a run with a fourth-inning single. The one run came in the sixth when Austin Jackson doubled to lead off and scored on Miguel Cabrera's single. The Giants scored their final two runs in the seventh inning off Tiger relief pitcher Jose Valverde, who failed to convert saves in previous stages of the postseason. Pagan doubled with one out, then scored on Scutera's single. After Sandoval singled, Scutaro scored on Buster Posey's single. 
In the top of the ninth, Johnny Peralta hit a two-run home run off George Contos to cut the lead to 8–3, but Jeremy Affelt came in relief of Contos and got Ramon Santiago to ground out for the final out of the game to give the Giants a 1–0 series lead. After Zito allowed a run on three hits in the sixth inning, Tim Linscombe relieved him. Linscombe pitched two and a third perfect innings, striking out five. Three Cy Young Award winners Linscombe, Verlander and Zito pitched in Game 1, the first time this has happened since Game 3 of the 1983 World Series, when Jim Palmer relieved Mike Flanagan, in a contest against Steve Carlton. <laughs> Game 2 A shutout win in Game 2 gave the Giants a two games to none lead in the series. In the top of the second, with Prince Fielder on first, Delman Young lined a double into the left field corner. Tiger third base coach Gene Lamont waved Fielder home, but with accurate throws by left fielder Gregor Blanco and second baseman Marcos Cataro, catcher Buster Posey tagged out Fielder in a close play at the plate. In the bottom of the second, Doug Fister was struck in the head by a Blanco line drive but stayed in the game, pitching out of a bases loaded jam. Game 2 remained scoreless until the bottom of the seventh. Hunter Pence led off with a single, Brandon Belt drew a walk, then Blanco executed a perfect bunt down the third baseline. The ball came to rest just fair, halfway between third base and home, allowing Blanco to reach safely while both runners advanced. With the bases loaded and nobody out, Brandon Crawford grounded into a double play, scoring Hunter Pence. In the eighth, with the bases loaded and one out, Pence hit a sacrifice fly to right field, scoring Angel Pagan with the second and final giant run of the game. Madison Bumgarner pitched seven shutout innings, yielding only two hits and striking out eight, for the win. Game three. The Giants' 2–0 victory in Game 3 was the team's second straight shutout. Matching the 2010 Giants team that also recorded two shutouts in the World Series, San Francisco became the first team since the 1966 Baltimore Orioles to record back-to-back -back World Series shutouts. The 1966 Orioles, who threw three straight shutouts in games 2–4, also swept the World Series, defeating the Los Angeles Dodgers. The 2012 Giants became the first NI team to do so since the 1919 Cincinnati Reds, who threw back-to-back -back shutouts against the Chicago White Sox. These were the first back-to-back postseason shutouts for the franchise since 1917, where the New York Giants ultimately lost to the Chicago White Sox. The only runs of the game came in the giant half of the second inning. A one-out triple off the bat of Gregor Blanco scored Hunter Pence from third. A two-out single by Brandon Crawford then scored Blanco. San Francisco starter Ryan Vogelsong pitched five and two-thirds shutout innings. Detroit loaded the bases with one out in the fifth inning. Vogelsong struck out Quinton Berry. Then, Vogelsong threw a pitch near the hands of the next batter, Miguel Cabrera, which induced a pop fly to end the inning. As in Game 1, Tim Linscombe relieved the giant starter, and pitched two and a third scoreless innings. As in Game 2, Sergio Romo converted a save, his second of three in the series. Game 4 Game 4 extended into extra innings. Marco Scutera's RBI single in the top of the tenth, which allowed Ryan Theriot to score, proved the difference in the Giants' 4–3 victory. With the Game 4 victory, the Giants took the 2012 World Series, four games to none. San Francisco scored the first run of the game, in the top of the second inning. With one out, Brandon Belt tripled off starter Max Scherzer to right field, scoring Hunter Pence. The Tiger defense then corralled Belt at third. In the third inning, Detroit took its first lead in any series game. Austin Jackson walked and Miguel Cabrera hit a high fly ball off Matt Kane towards right field. Hunter Pence had a chance to catch it, but a strong wind drifted the ball out for a two run home run. 
The shot snapped what was a 20 inning scoreless streak for the Tigers. The Giants regained the lead in the sixth inning, with a two run home run, off the bat of Buster Posey. Posey's shot stayed just inside the left field pole as it carried out. In the bottom of the same inning, Delman Young tied the game with a home run, off giant pitcher Matt Kane, that landed over the fence in right center. Strong relief pitching sent the game into extra innings. After a lead-off walk in the bottom of the eighth, giant pitcher Jeremy Affelt struck out the heart of the Tigers' batting order. In the top of the ninth, Tiger pitcher Phil Koch struck out three consecutive giant batters. Koch set a World Series record by striking out seven consecutive batters, dating back to his appearances in Games 2 and 3. Affelt and Santiago Cassia combined for a scoreless bottom of the ninth. In the top of the tenth, Ryan Theriot ended Koch's strikeout streak, leading off with a single to right. A sacrifice bunt by Brandon Crawford moved Theriot to second. Angel Pagan struck out. Then Skataro served a single in front of center fielder Austin Jackson, which scored the decisive run. Closer Sergio Romo struck out the side in the bottom of the tenth. The series ended with umpire Brian Onora calling a third strike on Miguel Cabrera. After throwing Cabrera several consecutive sliders, Romo threw a fastball that backed into Cabrera's zone, which may have surprised the batter, because they won the series away from their home field. The Giants accepted the World Series Championship Trophy and the World Series MVP award in their locker room. Incidentally, the franchise clinched its last four World Series victories away from home. The 2012 World Series ended just in time for Northeasterners. The very next day, Hurricane Sandy started its devastating damage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Composite line score. 2012 World Series 4 to 0 San Francisco Giants NL beat Detroit Tigers AL Topic Broadcasting Topic Television In the United States, Fox televised the games, with Joe Buck calling play-by-play -play in his 15th World Series, and Tim McCarver handling color commentary for his 23rd World Series. Ken Rosenthal also appeared on the Fox telecasts as a field reporter, with Aaron Andrews and Chris Myers joining him for select games. MLB International syndicated its own telecast of the series, with announcers Gary Thorne and Rick Sutcliffe, to various networks outside the U.S. Additionally, the American Forces Network and Canadian Forces Radio and Television carried the games to U.S. and Canadian service personnel stationed around the globe. Fox Deportes carried the series in Spanish on American cable and satellite TV. However, on August 24, Tribune removed Fox affiliate WTIC-TV from Cablevision systems in Connecticut, causing viewers to miss games 1 and 2 of the series. An agreement between Cablevision and Tribune was reached on October 26, the day before Game 3. Ratings According to Nielsen Media Research, the four-game series on Fox averaged a record low 7.6 rating and 12 share. The previous low was an 8.4 rating for both the 2008 and the 2010 World Series, which each went five games. The 6.1 rating in Game 3 matched the lowest rating for any World Series game with Game 3 in 2008. That year, a rain delay moved the start of the game to after 10 p.m. on the East Coast, with the game not ending until 1.47 a.m. Hurricane Sandy contributed to the low number of viewers as most residents on the East Coast were preparing for the storm's arrival during the series. Radio ESPN Radio broadcast the World Series nationally, with Dan Schulman and Aurel Hershiser working their second consecutive World Series together. ESPN Deportes Radio aired the series for Spanish-language listeners, with Ernesto Jerez and Guillermo Celis announcing
Locally, the two teams' flagship stations broadcast the series with their respective announcing crews. The Giants' English language broadcasts aired on KNBRAM with Dave Fleming, John Miller, Mike Cracco, and Dwayne Kuiper announcing with their Spanish language broadcasts on KIQIAM with Erwin Higueros and Tito Fuentes, while WXYTFM and AM carried the Tigers' English language broadcasts with Dan Dickerson and Jim Price. Due to contractual obligations, the non-flagship stations on the team's radio networks carried the ESPN radio broadcasts of the games, although the local broadcasts were also available on XM Satellite Radio and to Gameday Audio subscribers at MLB.com. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Game Historical Notes The Tigers became only the third team to be swept in the World Series after sweeping the League Championship Series LCS, joining the 1990 Oakland Athletics and the 2007 Colorado Rockies with this distinction. For the fourth time since 1985, when the MLB postseason expanded the LCS to a best of seven, the World Series saw a team who swept its LCS face a team who won a LCS Game 7. The previous three times, 1988, 2006, and 2007, the Game 7 pennant winner prevailed. This trend continued in 2012. The 2012 World Series was the first since 1954 to feature the batting champions from each league Buster Posey of the Giants and Miguel Cabrera of the Tigers. The 1954 series showcased Willie Mays of the New York Giants and Bobby Avila of the Cleveland Indians. Cabrera and Posey had been voted the MVP of their respective leagues announced and awarded, as usual, after the World Series, making this the first World Series since 1988 to feature both league MVPs 1988 saw the Oakland Athletics' Jose Canseco and the Los Angeles Dodgers' Kirk Gibson meet, the Giants became the first team since the 1966 Baltimore Orioles and the first NI team since the 1919 Cincinnati Reds to achieve consecutive shutouts in the World World Series. Giants pitching held the Tigers to a .159 batting average in the series, the third lowest for a team all-time in the World Series, behind the Los Angeles Dodgers hitting .142 against the Orioles in the 1966 World Series and the Baltimore Orioles hitting .146 against the New York Mets in the 1969 World Series, with the Giants winning Game 4 in extra innings to win the series, they became the eighth team to win a World Series clinching game in extra innings and the first First to do so since the 1997 Florida now Miami Marlins clinched the series in Game 7 in 11 innings. They were the first Giants team to do so since Game 5 of the 1933 World Series against the Washington Senators now Minnesota Twins in Washington when the Giants were in New York. After sweeping this series 4–0, Bruce Bocchi became the fourth World Series manager to be on a winning side and losing side of a sweep, having lost in a four-game sweep against the New York Yankees as the San Diego Padres manager in 1998. Miller Huggins, Walter Alston and Tony La Russa were the other three. To date, this is the most recent World Series sweep. Aftermath An estimated crowd of over one million people attended a Halloween Day victory parade along Market Street in San Francisco. The Giants failed to defend their World Series championship in 2013. San Francisco led the National League West early in the season, but critical injuries including the loss of Pagan for three months and subpar play on both ends doomed the Giants. They were eliminated from the playoff race on September 11, 2013, becoming the second defending World Series champion in three years to not make the postseason, after the 2011 Giants. In 2014, the Giants would, again, win the World Series and thereby continue their even years streak of pennants and World Championships 2010, 2012, and 2014. The Tigers would win the American League Central Division Championship for the third straight season in 2013, marking the first season since 1909 that the Tigers won three consecutive regular season titles. The Tigers lost the 2013 ALCS to the eventual champions Boston Red Sox in six games. 
In 2014, they won their fourth straight division title, but lost the ALDS to the Baltimore Orioles. Topic: <laughs> Quotes from the series. All quotes are from Joe Buck unless otherwise noted. Got em looking. And the Giants have won it all. See also 2012 Asia Series 2012 Japan Series 2012 Korean Series